Let's talk about AI through the lens of banking first before we move forward. What are the basic trends in banking? Where do you see disruption because of AI, AGI and ASI? So we will take, you're a futurist, we'll talk about it like not from the landscape of two to five years, but literally like 10, 15, 20 years down the line. You know, I, I would say in 10 years time, all of the fastest growing banks in the world will be AI businesses. Oh. Mm-hmm. I would say w- w- by 2050, what we think of as a bank in 2050 will bear absolutely zero you know, correlation with what we would have thought of as a bank in the 1980s. It, it will be com- so different that you wouldn't recognize it as a bank if you were, you were around. Uh, the, the products that we have today won't exist Banking will be like electricity plugged into the utility of the world, but operated largely autonomously. And banks will go from, if you say JP Morgan Chase, from something like 160 or 180,000 employees, maybe down to a few thousand. Because there's not a single function in banking that will not be affected by artificial intelligence. But that is also true of many other industries. You know, healthcare is going to be completely transformed by artificial intelligence. Manufacturing and transportation, you know, there's hardly a a sector that won't be touched by AI, but banking is one of the, banking and finance is one of the sectors that lends itself um, very clearly to to high levels of automation. And we're already using it in in many areas, but the bank itself uh, as a whole is, is going to become a set of algorithms most likely. I want to take a breather. You said from 160, 180,000 employees, GP Morgan Chase will reduce to a couple of thousand employees. That's a huge job loss. That's like a moment to like yeah. let it sink in. That's huge. And in a well, I didn't say 2,000, but I said a few thousand. So we're close. But yeah, I mean, it could be eight thousand maybe right i don't know but um but you know i mean the the fact is if if you look at all of the fastest growing banks in the world today they're all technology companies why um well first of all they they have the scaling laws applied hyperscaling is what we talk about with ai but the reason it is you know, so successful, new bank and so forth, is they've been able to grow very, very quickly and they've grown bigger than the typical banks in terms of number of customers and engagement. What they yep. haven't done as yet is captured the asset base of the traditional banks, but it, I don't think that is as important a measure now. I think asset size is not going to help you become AI relevant. So I don't think that's necessarily important. But the point is, if you look at the trajectory, technology is how we're doing banking today. Most people, 95% of their banking is done through a mobile phone. And when AI comes into the mix, the same thing's going to happen within the next 10 years is 95% of your banking will be handled by, by your personal AI agent. You know, that that's, seems the, the tra- tra- trajectory. So you won't need a plastic card to make a payment. Look at UPI rails in India, you know, um, already today in terms of the success there, you know, you, all you need is a phone. In the future, your AI will be able to use those same rails to make transactions on your behalf just when you tell it to, you know. So, I think all of this, uh, is, yeah. this is all unnerving that AI takes over your life so much so that it is making decisions on your behalf on where to invest, how to invest, how to go about spending that's a lot to take in. Do you think the world today, the individuals today are ready for we this? We haven't even started, Anu. We haven't even started on the disruption. Like we start talking, like imagine that being applied in healthcare. Imagine that suddenly you have all of these amazing tools. We elim- li- can eliminate cancer. We've got gene therapy. We can hack your genes and we can promise real longevity. But you have to sort of completely change the way you think about providing healthcare. Yeah, you know, becomes a data-driven uh, endeavor. You know, it's. I mean, this is what I think. What most people don't understand about AI is the extent of change that it's going to bring on the system. It's it's just incredible.